If you're new here, this channel is all about educative stuff. So don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, and smash that like button for instant updates. Hey guys, welcome back to Code 4. Today we'll be doing binary system in hexadecimals from IDCC Computer Science Theory. This video was based on the Cambridge Endorsed book. So let's get started. First of all, there are three main subtopics. Binary systems, hexadecimal, and conversions between the number systems. So first, we'll see what binary system. So what is a binary system? It's a basic building block in all computers. That is, the entire computer is basically made of binary digits. Binary digits are only zeros and ones, and they are used in switches. One representing the switch being on, and zero representing the switch being off. A bi one binary digit is called as a bit. Eight bits make a byte. So these eight bits are usually used in registers that are 8-bit registers as a part of their control system when computers are used to control other devices. So next, hexadecimal. So what is a hexadecimal? So hexadecimal is another number system that is closely related to the binary number system. Unlike binary, which has a base of 2, hexadecimal, which has a base of 16, which means it has 16 different digits. So it needs 16 different values to represent each digit. But there are only 10 numbers from 0 to 9. So it uses 6 alphabets, which is A to F. 16 is 2 power 4. So 4 binary digits make up 1 hexadecimal digit. So uses of hexadecimal. So the uses include memory dumps, hypertext markup language, which is HTML, Media access control, which is MAC address, uniform resource locator, which is URL, and assembly code and machine code. So first of all, memory dumps. So they used to hold the contents of a computer memory that have the key to solve problems. So basically, they have the solutions. This is basically used when developing new software or when trying to trace errors in programs. A memory dump is when memory contents are output to a printer or a monitor. So next, hypertext markup language, which is HTML. This is used when writing and developing web pages. This is not a programming language, but a markup language. It's used for processing, definition, and presentation of text. They use tags to bracket pieces of code, something in between a tag and a tag with a slash is considered defined. HTML color codes are used to represent colors of texts on the screen. So basically, they have a HTML code for different intensities of red, green, and blue, which are the primary colors. So next is media access control, which is MAC address. So this is a number which uniquely identifies a device on the internet or on a network. So this refers to the NIC card, which is the network interface card, which is inside the device. MAC address changes very rarely, so the device can be identified from wherever it is. The first half of the MAC address is the identity number of the manufacturer, and the second half is the serial number of the device. So the hexadecimal that is used to represent the MAC address has some alphabets in it, and these alphabets are sometimes in lower case. There are two types of MAC addresses. UAA and LAA. UAA is universally administered MAC address that is set by the manufacturer and is most common. LAA is locally administered MAC address, which is changed to this format from UAA by the person. So why do people change UAA to LAA? So sometimes some software on mainframe systems need MAC addresses to be in a specific format. So they may correct the format so that it fits the requirements. Sometimes the particular format needs to be there for MAC addresses to bypass a particular type of router or firewall as well. And is also used to get past some types of network restrictions. Next, assembly language and machine code. 
So basically, assembly language and machine code are low-level languages that are used by software developers. So instead of binary, they use hexadecimal here because it's faster, easier and less error-prone to write a code. Conversions between the number systems. So first, let's see a conversion from binary to binary. Binary is a number system with a base of 10. A binary is a number system with a base of 2. So let's take an example. How about 1101001? Um, one, one, zero, one, zero, 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 one. So this number is in binary. And we have to convert it to binary. So first, we have to start from the last digit and move towards the left. So let's take 1. We have to multiply 1 into 2 power 0 first. We have to start with 2 power 0 and then keep increasing the power by 1. So 1 into 2 power 0 is 1. Next, we have 0. So 0 into 2 power 1 is 0. 0 into 2 power 2 is also 0. 0 into 2 power 3 is also 0. And then we have 1 into 2 power 4, which gives 16. And then 0 into 2 power 5, which gives 0. And then 1 into 2 power 6, which gives 64. And 1 into 2 power 7, which gives 128. So now we have to add up all the values we got over here, which gives us a total of 209. This is a binary value that represents this binary value. So next, let's do binary to binary. This is the opposite of what we did before. So let's take the same number that we got before. We got 209. So now we'll be able to check if we got the same answer as before. So here we have to divide it by 2. We have to do L division. We have to continuously divide it by 2 where we write the remainder on the right hand side. So this gives us 104 with a remainder of 1. This gives us 52 with a remainder of 0. This gives us 26 with a remainder of 0. This gives us 13 with a reminder of 0. This gives us 6 with a reminder of 1. This gives us 3 with a reminder of 0. And this gives us 1 with a reminder of 1. So now we have gotten 1, which means we have reached the end of this process. So now we have to we have to write down the values in this order, starting with this one we got here and moving upwards. So we write 11010001, which is the same value we got before, so the answer is correct. So next we have binary and hexadecimal conversions. Okay, so there is a very easy method to do, to do this. So first, we have to write the binary code for each hexadecimal digit. To do that, there's a very easy method. So first, we write 0, 1, 0, 1, with 0 and 1 alternating until we get 16 digits. Okay. Next, on the previous row, column, I mean, we have to write two zeros and two ones. So, two. Okay. 
Okay. On the previous column, we have to write four zeros followed by four ones. So zero, 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 one, 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 one. Zero, 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 one, 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 one. On the row before that, we have tried eight zeros followed by eight ones. So zero, 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 one, 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 one. So now we have four binary digits. So as we learned before, four binary digits represent one hexadecimal digit. So we can write it next to it. Zero, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Here it becomes ten, which is not a digit. So we write A, B, C, D, E, and F. So as you may have understood, this is the binary code that represents zero in hexadecimal. So now we can carry out calculations using this. So first, let's try calculating from binary to hexadecimal. Let's take this number, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1. So first, we have to divide it into groups of four digits so it's easier for us to calculate we have to start from the last digit so this is one group this is one group this is one group and here we have only two digits so when a case like this comes we can add two zeros previously so now we have to check for this here so zero one zero one is five 1110 one, one, zero is E, 1001 zero, zero, one is 9, and 0001 zero, zero, one is 1. So this binary digit gives a hexadecimal value of 19E5. So next, let's try calculating from hexadecimal to binary. Let's use B, 5, F. And it's very easy. So the hexadecimal code, the binary code that represents B is 1011. Zero, one, one. So 1011. One, one. What represents 5 is 0101. Zero, one, one. What represents F is 1111. One, one, one. So this all together is the binary code that represents B5F. And when dealing with hexadecimal to deanery or deanery to hexadecimal, we can always convert it to binary first and then carry out the conversion. This presentation template was made by SlidesGo. Icons, images, and infographics by Flaticon and Freepik. For IGCC Sciences, Economics, Business, Accounting, English, Maths, Tips, and Solve Fast Papers, check Crazy IGCC. Do subscribe to them. The link is in the description. Link for handwritten IGCC computer science notes are also in the description.